Planes have wheels for taking off and landing, right? Of course. Except for seaplanes and they have floats. Well, are there any other kinds? There certainly are. Have a look at this. What on earth is it? Is it a plane which couldn't make up its mind? No, it's a ski plane at Mount Cook in New Zealand. And it has wheels because it needs to take off from a normal runway at the airport, solid ground. Then it flies for about 15 minutes through the mountains and lands on Tasman Glacier, one of the largest glaciers on Earth. And for that, it needs skis because the top end of the glacier is covered with snow and slippery ice. But those skis are actually movable. And they're controlled by this lever in the cockpit. You switch it to the ski position and then move the lever backwards and forwards. And it pumps oil from a reservoir into those cylinders down there which push the skis down and under the wheels. And then when you return to the airport and you want to get the skis up out of the way, you switch that back to the wheel position, once again pump, and the skis retract. Well, at Mount Cook, planes with retractable skis have been used for more than 30 years to take people up to the glaciers. Well, that's enough talk about ski planes. Our pilot, David, is ready, so let's have some action. comes down hydraulically in front of and underneath the wheel, allowing the plane to land just as a skier would on the snow, sliding to a stop. Normally, when these planes land on the glacier, they go uphill so that the slope helps to slow them down. On the other hand, when they take off, they make the slope work for them and head the plane downhill.
know Curiosity